good morning from London, more specifically my flat. Right now it's 8, 11 in the morning. I have a flight at 11, so I should probably head out to Heathrow before I miss my flight. My luggage is ready though. And I'm gonna be flying to Rio on the Dreamliner, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to upload this video today. So let's see if I can make this whole video in one day. And then try to do it tomorrow as well. Almost like a daily vlog. Anyway, come with me. I got that weird feeling that I'm missing something. Which I usually do. Just at Paddington now, platform seven. At Terminal 5 now, and I'm gonna check in for my flight to Rio, but it's a little bit of a different check in this time. It's not gonna be economy, it's not gonna be premium economy, it's not gonna be club, it's not gonna be first. It's gonna be something else, something different. Let me show you. I'm the next in line, the moment of truth is about to happen. Hopefully, I get business. Fingers crossed. Hello. Uh, Rio. Yeah, sure. Thank you. It's a nice seat. <laughs> Sorry? Is it a nice seat? It is a good seat. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to mention. I'm gold. Is it possible to add uh, this on my ticket? We probably don't stop. We can't add yeah. gold I can't. parts to your ticket. Oh, okay. Wording parts in hands. Looks like I've got World Traveler Plus, which is like premium economy. Not complaining, even though it could have been business class. Maybe not this time, or maybe later if someone doesn't turn up. Maybe, maybe, let's see. Now I'm gonna sort another problem because the system didn't add my executive number straight in. So let's see if I can do that manually from first class checking desk. Listen, I am traveling on stuff today yeah. and I've already checked in, mm -hmm. but the guy didn't manage to add my executive number in it. What kind of card is it? Gold. So you can go to the lounge to do the gold card, but that's yeah. fine. You just won't get your points for that. But no, 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 no points. Yeah, yeah, totally. Let me try. It's in there. Fine. Thank you. So here I am walking to the first class lounge traveling on a stuff ticket and my account is linked to this ticket despite what they say. I think most of ground staff from British Airways are not really aware of like how executive club works or their own staff travel benefits. That's why I like to make these videos to tell you if you're using it and the staff people that these things are possible. It's not that difficult to understand. It's just the nicest view here. Look at that. Big plane. That's an A380. I could stay here absolutely all day. But I have less than an hour. So let's order some food because it's gonna be a long flight. I can see the gate here, B46. But I still can't see the seat. So I think this is still the system trying to fit me somewhere nice. Or not being able to fit me at all. The flight is closed and I don't have a seat, so that's not good. Um, anyway. Cheers! Thank you. Thanks. Fruit. Gate closes in 10 minutes and I still don't have a seat. I think I should go to the gate and check it out. Just leaving the lounge, going to B gates. Need a train to get to B gates. And hopefully I'm gonna have a seat by then. So this is how staff travel works. There are essentially two types of staff travel for British Airways. Uh, one is a hotline, which is basically a discounted ticket, confirmed, 
I've never used that one because it's usually very expensive anyway. And there is Standby. Standby is a hot deal. It's super good, super, super cheap, and very, very flexible, which is just amazing. Standby has two options, premium standby and normal standby, or like standard standby. If you book standard standby, you fly usually fly economy. That's the cheapest possible way to fly standby. If you book premium standby, you pay an extra around 100 pounds per leg, per sector, and you have a chance to fly business class. By chance, I mean you are on the priority to fly business class. Today I'm flying with premium standby, but because club is full, they downgraded me from club to premium economy. Even though you can never book premium economy, I'm probably gonna fly premium economy. Let's check your run here. Flight is boarding, but I need something urgently because I left mine at home. Cool, thank you very much. Sorted, bought some headphones, earphones, adapter, I left mine at home. Very, very annoying. I can see now gate B46, the moment of truth. Oh my god, the flight is busy. Oof, it's completely packed. For sake. Okay, no chance. <laughs> I'm lucky to have a seat. I mean, I don't have a seat, but like, I'll be lucky if I get anything. All right, let's go for a bird. 3D. There's a new seat. Amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, from no seat to premium economy to 3D. I love flying stuff travel, it's such a thrill. You don't know if you're gonna get the flight, you don't know if you're gonna fly business class. You just don't know until the very last minute. Ciao. This is it. Hotel. Copacabana. Easy walk. 